Okay, well, hopefully those presentations turned out well. Hopefully the rest of the class uh, had uh, lots of questions for you. And hopefully you had some thoughts and learned a little bit about uh, robot design and how robots can become a big part of our future, all right? So you are gonna be the next designers of the robots. And so it's good to understand kind of how robots are used in society, but then also uh, some new designs and creativity around robots. So what are we gonna do next? Well, we're gonna get hands-on with our robots, okay? First, we're gonna introduce you to the robot that we're gonna be using for the rest of this lab. And then you're gonna be able to get hands-on uh, in your groups with a robot of your own and learn to drive it around and have a little fun. So. I want to introduce you to our robot here. It's called Sphero, all right, as you can see here. And it's a, this is a Sphero Mini. So it's actually a rolling robot and we won't, we'll get into how this robot works in the next session. But now we're gonna learn about how to drive it, okay? So, and to do that, you're gonna need your robot. Each group will get one. And then you're gonna need the uh, Amazon Fire tab, okay? And so let's go ahead and take a look at what app we need to open up and how it works and how we'll use it to drive our Sphero Minis. So let's take a look at the Sphero EDU app. I'm on an iPad here, but it works the same as if you're on a Fire tab. So I'll click on it and we'll open it up here. The first thing you get is this home page here. And you'll see people post different programs that you can use for your robots. Here you have 3D models that you can take a look at. It's pretty cool. Uh, you have your profile here. If you sign in and you have settings, and then down on the bottom, you have the programs, right? And so you see the plus button here on the lower right that you can put add programs to, but we'll get into that in another video. There are different activities here that you can save if you log in. But what we want to select here is the drive, which is down here on the right, the far right. So we'll select that. And then you'll be able to select the type of robot that you have here. So now it's looking for a Sphero Mini, I found one. We'll click that and it'll start to connect to our robot. So that'll take a second to connect. Okay, so here you are, here's the interface. Now on the Fire tablet, it'll look a little bit different. It'll be bigger, but the same controls are present. And so, First thing you want to do is use the aim. So click that in here, you'll drag the circle here. And what that does, and you'll see in the next video, you're aiming the blue light towards yourself. So you want it to face you. So it gives it a zero point. And so now when you use your joystick, it's right here. When you pull it down, it'll go towards you. And when you push it up, it'll go away from you. So there's left and right, it's pretty intuitive. So here you can change the speed from slow to fast, okay? And you can play around with that. And then on the right, you can change the intensity of the light from bright to not so bright or off. And you can also change the color of the light, okay? So you can play around with that. So let's take a look at it in action. And so here I'm, I'm aiming it. And then once it's aimed toward me, now I can start to drive it. And so here I am on the fire tab, actually. I'm just dragging the joystick around and it's controlling our Sphero Mini. So if we go to the right here, I'll push it right. Uh, if we wanna go away, we'll push it up and then bring it back towards me, push it down. Let's try a few other moves here. A little bit more driving. And as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. So, and so there you have it. That's how you connect to your Sphero Mini and how you drive the Sphero Mini. That's it. Go ahead and make sure that um, you connect and follow those instructions. And then just take the next 15 minutes or so just driving, okay? We just want you to get experience with it.